Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a freelance app developer. Hi, Brian. Recently, I started exploring the various features of Salesforce. I think it'll be a great platform to showcase my apps. I couldn't agree with you more. Salesforce is a great platform to showcase your apps. However, I'm unable to understand the concept of Lightning components. I'm also unable to grasp how it is different from Visual Force. Then you are at the right place at the right time. In this lesson, we'll explain the concept of Lightning components. We'll also discuss how it differs from Visual Force. Awesome. Let's begin right away. The first topic will be installing Lightning components. Remember the following points when installing Lightning components. Components are found on the App Exchange. Components are free or paid. Users can view popular or purpose specific components. And each component is rated for mobile devices, tablets, or desktops. In short, a Lightning component is similar to that of a widget. If you're familiar with the concept of a widget, a component is something that can be installed, modified, changed, and used in different ways from within Salesforce Lightning. So when you install a component, think of it like a you know, task-specific app just for that purpose, and then you can assemble and put those components together in Salesforce. So let's jump over to the App Exchange and see the process of installing a component. A component. So here we are on the Salesforce App Exchange. First, click on Components. And you can see here, there's a list of components that are available. Now, if you scroll down, you can click on any of these and see some additional details about the component itself. For example, we're looking at this currency conversion tool. It doesn't have any ratings yet, and it's free. So you can install this Lightning component to convert amounts and currencies uh, in Salesforce. Or let's say, for example, you want to uh, you know, capture signatures. You can use the signature capture component as well. In this case, we're going to scroll down here and check out the multi-view calendar component. I'm going to go ahead and click on it here. So at this point, it's going to look very similar to an app on the App Exchange, except this is considered to be a component, as you can see there. Here you can also see what devices are supported, phone, tablet, desktop, etc. And you can see that it's used in the App Builder. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to click this Get It Now button. And I'm going to be prompted to log in. So I'm going to click on Log in to the App Exchange. So at this point I have the option to choose Installation and Production or Sandbox. I'm going to choose Sandbox. So now I'm going to agree to these conditions and I see that it's a free app so I don't have to pay anything and I'm going to click on the Confirm and Install button. At this point I've got my credentials loaded in so I'm going to click on Log in to Sandbox. Now on this page, I can choose who I want to grant access to this specific app. Here I can choose install for all users, specific roles or admins only. I'm gonna choose install for all users. I want everyone to be able to see this component. So I'm gonna click on the install button here. So now we can see that the installation process has completed and we're gonna be taken directly into the Salesforce Lightning uh, view here. So now that Salesforce Lightning has loaded, we're going to jump over here into the setup area. Under Quick Find, we're going to check out Install and check out our installed packages. Here you can see that the multi-view calendar component has been successfully installed. So if you want to actually see what's in this component, you can click on the View Components button. And then when the page loads, you'll be able to see what actually was included with this component here. You can see we have a lightning component bundle, a few static resources, and some Apex classes. So as you can tell, it's very simple to find a component on the App Exchange and install it into Salesforce. The next topic we'll discuss is lightning component capability. 
Keep in mind the following points. Components are effective for managing and visualizing data, such as report graphs and charts. Feeds can be displayed from Chatter or other updates in Salesforce. Components are great productivity enhancers with shortcuts and action buttons. Components are used by salespeople to quickly create leads in Salesforce One. So the major difference between, you know, with component capabilities is that you can quickly install these pre-built, pre-bundled, um, you know, mini applications into Salesforce and then aggregate them together. So the Lightning components allow you to create a modular system of building apps. And so you can install those into Salesforce and use them to create a larger, more functional application. So the Lightning component capabilities as they stand today are largely used for managing your data and visualizing your data and pretty much anything that relates to, you know, insights into or seeing information in Salesforce. For example, you can quickly view charts and reports, and you can also, you know, create your own custom screens in Salesforce using those components. So as far as Lightning components goes, developers need to create them, and then they upload them to the App Exchange, where app builders and system administrators can then download and install those into Salesforce and use them as they see fit. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.